I got Man. to find it and I got to touch yeah. it. Yeah, I've I'm never like, seen one in person, so I mean, that's that's pretty cool, honestly. Hopefully someone else buys it. You said if they don't, I, I, <laughs> I really hope it's you. I mean, it's, you know, a lot of people look. Bloggy flips. So today is a very exciting day in my small little nostalgic world. It's the second annual Geek Meet Indie. I went to lots of shows and conventions last year, and I can say with full confidence, Geek Me Indie ranked right at the top as a personal favorite. Needless to say, I have very high hopes for this year's show. At this point, there's certain types of things that I'm personally looking for at conventions. Of course, I'm always looking for vintage Star Wars pieces that I don't yet have. I would love to find a yak face. I'm, I'm having a terrible time finding one locally. There's a handful of other Last 17 figures I need, plus a handful of, of not so hard to find things that I've just not personally come across yet. Outside of that, I'm looking for cool, rare, hard to find stuff, stuff you don't see every day. Off the top of my head, uh, Rimco Mini Monsters, LJN Magnum PI, Kenner Indiana Jones. There's certainly not a definitive list. I tend to live by the rule. I'll know it when I see it. So hopefully I find something worthwhile. If I do, once we get back here, we'll take a closer look at it. Morning. Hi. One. Hi. It's gonna be five. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Uh, two. Two's gonna be $10. And that's a pass out, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank question. you so much. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. What's your name? I'm Chris. I'm Chris. Awesome, man. Nice to meet you. I didn't meet you last year. Billy did. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. I was wondering if you were going to... I was like, aren't you sitting in an app to set up? Because you're talking about something like... I don't think I'd want to sell here. It's like so awesome to shop at, so... You should set the room with Oh, yeah. Uh, and that's the big one, like the... Uh... Yeah, in October. Okay. The apps will go live sometime next week. Awesome. I'll look into that one. Thanks, man. Hey, how's it going, buddy? What's up, man? How you doing? Um, how much on Godzilla back there? What's that? I'm sorry. Um, how much on Godzilla? Godzilla. This one is three hundred. Three hundred? Yep. He's missing his tab, but he's got everything else. It's the original fist. Yep. Five dollars each? It was a little worse condition. Cool, I'm gonna take it. Okay. Two, three. All right, appreciate awesome. you, man. Thanks, buddy. Yep, have a good one. All right, you too. It's doing good. Yeah, I can't complain. What's up, David? How's it going, man? Doing all right. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. I've got something for you. <laughs> oh, yeah? I do. Oh, that is awesome. Because of your video, I've shipped my artwork all over the world over the last year. Nice. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. That's a really cool unintended uh, I effect. It's all natural. Yeah. No, this is awesome, man. Thank you so much. Any luck here today yet? Uh, I, mean, I guess it just started today. So far. Yeah? Awesome. Always make the loop first. Yeah. Got the nice big sign, so that definitely oh, helps. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. Didn't you find one of those here last year? I found one somewhere else. It was missing the fist. So now I got the fist and I can sell off the parts. Oh, so, go. couldn't resist. Awesome, man. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm a really big fan. Oh, thanks, man. What's your name? Neil. Neil, nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, I watch you all Anthony. the time. Appreciate it, can buddy. Can I picture with you? Yeah, sure. I had to load it up and everything. <laughs> awesome, man. Keep up the good cool. work, man. Appreciate awesome, it. Awesome, buddy. Good to meet you, man. Thank you. 
I am so jealous of you right now. Yeah? I, I owned that for a hot minute. It's a beautiful toy. Mind if I ask how much you got it for? Uh, three. Not bad. That's awesome, man. I think I follow you on Instagram, yeah. Oh, awesome, what's your name? Um, so I'm, I'm Anthony. Anthony, mm -hmm. Tim. Nice to meet you, man. I have a man right Awesome work you do. I've seen like the- Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. The Tony Hawk stuff and the Super yeah, 7 yeah, stuff and everything. Got it. Very cool, man. Here we go. Six fifty. Oh, face. Okay. Stormtrooper Luke. Imperial Gunner. Yak face. A man, a man. Hey man, is this your booth right here? Yes. Okay. Um, is there any room if I buy? Quite a bit of them. Yeah, yeah. I, I do. I do want you to know that's a repro helmet. Oh, it is okay. on him. But I think that's the only thing. Yeah, that's, everything else. Yeah, everything else. Okay. Go and check something out. For yeah, me. sure, man. Thank you. And he's missing his blaster. Yeah, he's again. His blaster is about one seventy-five. Right. right now, so. Okay. The, man, I don't see Yak Face very often. That was, that was sharp. When we priced those for PowerCon back this last summer. Yeah. I think we had about 50, 60 under, but I know it's already like 150 over that. So right. It's, it's, it's a good, it's a good price where it is, but he'll still wiggle a little bit. Okay, it. cool. I, I don't we, see this much last 17 stuff we, in one we place. We finished ours, both me and him finished ours like, like seven, eight years ago. Oh, I'm wow. so glad I did. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I that was, was a good investment seven years was, ago. I was griping about dropping like 50 bucks on Princess Blasters. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I want to do it. And now I'm glad I did it. <laughs> right. Okay, let's Don't see. Don't forget, there's just a nice little double telescoping look on you. Is that what that is? Yeah. So he's selling this for a buddy of his at right. work. And uh, we went up into his like his attic to find stuff. Mm -hmm. and, like, kind of, he was wanting us to help him like price some stuff. Sure. And I looked down at the ground, I looked at that, and I was like, <laughs> Immediately, I was like, it's Jeez. a good day, dude. That's a variant that I've never even tried to find. I, I started, I probably could have bought it. I probably still could buy it for half of that from him, but I, I just, I'd rather him. Jeez, look at that, man. So, it's, I want it, but Ugh. like, eh, like, again, I know. It's the most of the proceeds are going to go to like their dads, like in going into like uh, assisted living. Yeah. So most of this, the ones that the pieces that are his, the handful that are his, right? Like that for sure is going to help them. So I got Man. to find it. I got to touch yeah. it. Yeah, I've like, never seen one in person. So I mean, that's that's it's, it's that's cool. that's pretty cool, honestly. And the really the cool thing that I got out of it is we, there was this little plaque, this little yellow plaque. Uh -huh. All of his brothers and sisters, all of his brothers were very crafty. Right. This little yellow plaque, this wooden little plaque, little string on it, and had these four stickers on it. We didn't know what it was. It was just laying in the stuff, and Brandon figured it out last night because this is the this is the gentle giant. Right. Yeah, that's cool too. The early bird. The little plaque had the early bird stickers. This is literally his early bird. Wow. It's an early bird tele double telescoping, which in a way is even rarer than the very few. That Pretty neat, man. Card. Like I get to have, but he gave me the little plaque. Yeah. Just hangs on. The, and then the brother whose collection of this he since passed. Yeah. He passed kind of young and. Uh, I even I framed a little picture that he drew of Jawas and Dunes. Right. And it was just, it's, that may be one that I'll try to let someone else get it, yeah, yeah. and then if and then if it's still here, like in an hour, I'm, I'm I may get it. It's, it's awesome, man. I mean, it is it's, awesome, it's, man. I've never seen and, it. And, and I can I can tell you unequivocally, we the way we found this, we found it in it had been in an attic for years. Mm -hmm. We have again, we have this is after you picture the thing last night. So like. Not that you need authentication. You oh, can, no, no. You can look at it and know, right. but like, those are the early bird stickers. Right. From this, in a, and we found it in an attic, mm -hmm. found it dirty and cleaned it up, and like, it was just, it was awesome. Like, yeah. this thing's been, one kid had it ever. Mm -hmm. this you found it the right way. around in collections. Like, exactly. This is, this is, this is just, to me, that is even more special. Right. Me. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. It was just, it was somebody's, and it was loved and cared so for. Cool. And, so awesome. Yeah, the yak face is clean. Where's that from? Do you know? That's you know? his collection. Is it? Okay. All right, well, I'd be interested to see what we would do on those two right there. Um, I, these are both his. No, j just the green labels are his. That's right. That's right. Yeah, so any, anything green is Chris. Um, so I don't have a whole lot of wiggle on that. Mm -hmm. um, 750 is probably my low on that. Cool. Thanks, man. I'm going to think about the DT loop, too. 
Hopefully someone else buys it. But. <laughs> you said if they don't. I, I, I really hope it's you. I mean, it's, you know, a lot of people look. But. It's cool, man. If I did, is there any wiggle room on that one? 12 or anything? I probably not want to go much lower than 13. 13, okay. All right, I'm going to let 13 sink in my head for a little bit all here. Right, all right, Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, fifty. Awesome. awesome, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Thank Appreciate you. it, man. Good to you, man. Thank you. Awesome. What's your name? Um, Anthony. You from here? Or? Um, um, Indiana, east side. Cool, cool. Yep. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you have one? That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah sure. Right over here. I wasn't sure. Why I wasn't awesome, man. Thank you so much. Chris, I watch Chris, the show all the time. Awesome, man. Nice to meet you. I, I, like, I, I go to this stuff. I never see him. <laughs> I'm going to eventually see him. Buying up all the Star Wars now, yeah. man. All right, buddy. Good luck. Have nice to meet you. Dropping some stuff off real fast because I don't like uh, carrying a big bag and have everything flop around. I'm going to go check out the other side of the building and then I'm going to decide on that DT loop because that's pretty crazy. Thanks, sir. They're coming, I promise. Do you know what toy line that is? No. <laughs> what toy line is that? Um, I recognize it. Uh, uh, Pirates of the Galaxy. Pirates of the Galaxy, okay. okay. Awesome. I like that. It's a uh, okay. bubble's been popped on the side. And we'll okay. Gotcha. You like Pikachu? Pretty cool. Yeah. I like it. Oh. That's pretty cool. Anthony. You last night. Awesome, man. What's your name? Barry. Very nice to meet you, man. I, I, I came upon you once and I started watching. Uh. And all of a sudden, uh, I'm like, crap, he's at the Indiana uh, car sale. <laughs> exactly. And, uh, I'm like, we were just there. That's awesome, man. I cool, appreciate man. that. Nice meeting you, man. I appreciate <laughs> it. Mean, you too. So Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, Anthony. Hey, how are you doing, man? Good, man. Enjoy your video. Awesome, man. What's your name? I'm Jamie. Jamie, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Appreciate that. Can I uh, get a selfie? Yeah, sure, man. Cool. Awesome, dude. Thanks, nice to meet you, man. Have Thank you. Nice to meet you. You too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ask you, where is your booth at? Uh, Greenfield, Indiana. At, uh, uh, what's the place called? It's called J.W. Riley's, like James Wickham Riley. Okay. J.W. Riley's Emporium. Okay. Uh, right, right as you walk in, turn left. I, I got the whole like front of the area. Okay. So, nice. Awesome. All right. Take care, man. Awesome, man. Thank you. May I get a picture with you, please? Yeah, sure. Awesome. I watch a lot of. Awesome. Now, what's your videos, name? Right? Uh, Calvin. Calvin, nice to meet you. Anthony. We, uh, we do a YouTube uh, puddle walkers outdoors. We fish around here. Around oh, cool. Indiana. Awesome. I, I love going to yard sales and stuff. So. <laughs> cool, man. Awesome, Thank man. you so much. Nice to meet you. Awesome, man. You too. Thank you. All right, you too. All right, I'm going to go for it. Are you? Yeah. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Oh, we said 13? Awesome, man. Fantastic. That's super awesome, man. Um, Chris is going to be really happy. You just made his day. Uh, and, and mine as well. 
I'm really glad that's going home with somebody. I'll never see another one at a toy show. So that's awesome, man. Thank you so much, Bob. You're very welcome. Well, Nice. We watch your show all the time. Oh, awesome, man. What's your name? John. John. John, that's yeah. me. Anthony. I saw you pick up that dovetail. It's cool. Oh, it's crazy, man. I'm excited. Uh, you don't see those very often. No, man. I had to. I had to. So, did you design the uh, Lost did, Boys ones? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did the turnarounds. The, it's like the front, back, side to side drawings that they give to the sculptor then. Right. And the sculptor builds the sculpt based off of my drawings. So cool. So I did it for those, and then the, the Super 7 licensed this character from me. Really? Astro Zombie, yeah. So my character. And... All right, so how much is uh, one each of those and a David? Um, 20 piece. Oh, 20 piece, okay. And I'm happy to sign them for you. you awesome, yeah, please do. Do you have a cash charge? What do you prefer? Uh, cash. Okay, that works. Yeah. Okay, so Very cool, man. Total. There you go, buddy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anthony, was it? Anthony, yep. Mm -hmm. Pleasure meeting you, sir. Thank you. So we made it back to the showroom. Geek Me Indie was spectacular as expected. No matter your budget, no matter what you were looking for, it would have been hard to go home empty handed. I personally would say I made some pretty bold choices. I'm sure not everyone will agree with them, but in my experience, you gotta buy it when you see it. So real quick, let's take a look at everything. We'll start right here. I ran into my friend David Clark from Red Banana Art. I actually met David last year at Geek Meet. I thought his work was amazing. We've kind of kept in touch since then. I believe he's based out of Illinois, but I was super honored when he gifted me with this orca that he drew. The detail on this thing is just outstanding. Definitely, if you have any custom artwork that you need done, feel free to reach out to uh, David Clark. He does take commissions. Red Banana Art, thank you so much. Next up, we have three Super 7 reaction figures. Super 7 figures aren't necessarily something that I usually grab. I think a lot of their stuff is very cool, but the fact that it's not vintage, it's just a little out of my wheelhouse. These, however, are the work of artist Tim Barron. He's the guy that I bought him from that signed him at the top. He does amazing work. Outside of Super 7, he's done work for Tony Hawk and Birdhouse and many others. I think his designs are so cool. You can check out his Instagram page and see a lot of what he does. But these two right here, the Astro Zombies, he was telling me that these are actually his design, his creation, and Super 7 actually licensed them from him. I think it's a really cool figure. Obviously, I'm, I'm not going to open it, so you have to look through the plastic. A couple different variants here, and like I said, I did get them signed. And then I thought it was really cool that he did the design work for David from Lost Boys. As you may know, The Lost Boys is my favorite movie of all time. This is a really cool figure, a very cool card back. And I absolutely love the accessories that come with the figure. It's the uh, infamous bottle of blood and this amazing little carton of Chinese noodles. They're only noodles, Michael. Very cool figures. So glad I was able to meet such a talented, accomplished artist. Next up, we have the 1977 Shogun Godzilla. I picked this up from my friends over at Sewer Lair Toys. As you can see, it's in pretty nice condition, except it is missing the switch that, uh, pops Godzilla's tongue out. Now, if you've been with the channel for a while, you'll know that last year I picked up this Godzilla from my buddy Neil, who is missing the fist, and I swore that I would make it my mission to find that fist. Not a reproduction, not a 3D printed fist, an original Shogun Godzilla fist. And I have finally completed that mission. The fact that this guy's missing the switch means that I can now use this entire thing as a donor Godzilla. And just to make everything full circle and satisfying, I decided to wait till I was filming this to make the swap. So for those of you that have been following along this whole time, the Godzilla is now complete. So an original shooting fist will normally run you somewhere between $100 and $125. I paid $300 for this donor unit, and there's lots of good parts still left on it. You can take out the screws and pretty much use every single part. If you come across one that has something broken, busted, missing, we got the head, we have the firing arm, we have the other arm, we have the leg, we have the other leg, we have the tail, which is usually about a $100 part, we have the wheeled feet, we have the torso. So at the end of the day, this beautiful creature will have not lived in vain. And lastly, we have the booth that I just kept going back to pretty much after every lap. I'm not sure how much of this buy made it on camera. I stopped one more time before leaving. I was going to grab one of those boxed wampas, and then I noticed this complete 12-inch Boba Fett. It's not very cheap or easy to find this guy complete. Most of the time, he's missing this Wookiee braid right here, the uh, Wookiee scalp. Just this little strand of fake hair can run you a couple hundred bucks or more. So when I noticed this thing was complete, I had to check out the price, and it was marked at $350, which honestly is a great deal. 
To find a really clean, complete example like this can many times cost you around 500 bucks, even without the box, much more with the box. So I honestly couldn't pass it up for 350. I was very excited to see the case that had several last 17 figures, including my elusive yak face. There were several more figures in there that I do need. Unfortunately, they weren't complete. Actually, the Amana Man isn't complete either. He's missing a staff. I kind of tried to use this as a uh, negotiating chip. It got me a little bit of money off, but at the end of the day, I basically paid $650 for this yak face. But like I said, it was right there. I was right there. I've been having trouble finding it. I was happy paying it just so I finally have one. Sometimes if you get lucky on an eBay auction, you can snag one for between $450 and $550, but that's a whole other level of commitment. And eventually I will find the staff for a man to man as well. And finally, we have the star of the show. The elusive double telescoping Luke Skywalker is not a figure I had on my list to even attempt to seek out. But when I saw it, I could not stop thinking about it. I did not know if I'd ever come across one again, so after a couple laps, I decided I had to have it. This particular saber is referred to as the circle variant, and from what I can gather, it's the earliest version of an already short run accessory. The name refers to a very hard to see series of circles that run up and down the outer portion of the lightsaber itself. It was caused by the manufacturing process. The value of this figure is almost entirely dependent on the condition of the lightsaber itself. Each millimeter of that inner filament there carries a premium, and this thing is complete unbroken and pretty darn straight not to mention very fragile that's why i'm grabbing him by his head the figure itself however does show a little bit of wear the preservationist in me wants to keep it exactly the way it is the investor in me kind of wants to switch it out for a nicer figure like this with an appropriate coo as far as potential value and whether or not i should have paid what i did that could certainly be up for debate a graded 85 circle variant dt luke sold last year for almost six thousand dollars now the vintage Star Wars market is not at an all-time high currently, but a hard to find figure like this will always carry a premium. I'm personally feeling pretty good with the investment. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I wanna thank you so much for watching the video, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya, bye.